Today I'm going to show you how to use the free photo editing program Photoscape to create selective colorization in your photos. Open the program Photoscape and when you do this is the screenshot that you will see at the beginning. You want to choose the editor. On the left hand side you'll see your navigation panel. You will want to find where you have saved the image that you want to edit. In this case I've saved it on the desktop. Once you find, select the folder where your image is contained, you'll see the images appear on the bottom left side. You can either drag and drop the image to the editing area or you can double click. The editing area is this gray area on the right side. For this image, I want the red ball to appear colored and the rest of the image to appear black and white. To do this, you're going to go to the bottom of the screen and select the filter tool. From this menu, you want to select region out of focus. A new window will appear and this is your preview window. You want to move this plus to the area that you want to be colorized. You'll notice that it's automatically set up with the radial shape. If you don't have a round shape and would like to um, use more of a horizontal, you can choose these different options at the top as well. But for this particular photo, I'm going to use radial. You'll also notice that it's automatically set up for a larger area. You can adjust the size over here on the left hand side. I want to make the size a little bit smaller. Also the feathered portion will make the edge of the shape appear hard or soft. So I want the softer side. So you'll play around with the position a bit and these different options here to get it just like you'd like it. looks good to me. Once you're happy with it, then click OK in the bottom left hand side and this will save the changes that you have made. Takes it a moment to process. Once you're happy with your photo, then click Save on the bottom right hand side. Save As. Usually, as a good rule of thumb, you can save the photo as the same name, but add whatever um, effect you have created on that photo to the end. So for this example, I say save the image as colorized. Click on save, and then it will ask you what quality. It's automatically set up for 95 when you first open the program, but I always select 100% to make sure that my photo is the same quality as the original photo. And there you have it, selective colorization using the free photo editing program Photoscape.